No offense, but you look like you traveled a long way down some bad roads. Where'd you come from? Last year we attempted a really stupid challenge in Skyrim, where we sought to find out just how much content we could explore and friends that we could make while circling around the game's map without ever leaving the road. If only there was another game I liked that featured a map involving a connected series of roads with potential for different challenges and obstacles throughout one adventure. In today's Death Stranding video, since that day I've been curious to see how the game that inspired Rascal Flatts' 2005 radio hit would play under the same circumstances. Can we make any allies, take on any quests, can we creatively tackle any stupid problems? We definitely can do that last one. How limited will our adventure be if life is quite literally a highway? All right, let's get back. Let's keep get back. To, uh, keep getting back to our our test subject for this adventure is this guy. His name's Rody. Although in hindsight, I'm really wishing I named him Rascal Flats, but it looks like I'll just have to ram other miscellaneous songs about highway travel into this script. Convoy. There you go. Get that. Well, get excited. That's right. I've got a present for you and it'll be delivered at high speed out of the end of this barrel. Rhodey was born to be wild and has dreams of grandeur to become the most efficient courier in the wasteland, but after having his skull emptied by an ugly suit, he's lost all memory of his delivery routes. Getting back on the road again to retrace his routes means starting with the right skills. Eight strength so Rhodey can carry a good load of equipment, eight perception so he can spot dangers near the road, the endurance of me athletically, the charisma of me, socially, seven intelligence for skill points should level ups be possible, three agility and the rest are dumped straight into luck. All that's left is getting a poor psych evaluation from Doc Mitchell. Alright Doc, hit me with the hard questions. Am I gonna be a successful career or no? House. I took the traits claustrophobic because I'm afraid of Santa Claus and Logan's loophole because there's zero chance this character faces the negative effects of this trait given that it's unlikely to ever go past level 30 on this run. Sneak, Repair, Survival. Aside from the 9mm handgun, we're dropping everything before getting started. Yes, even the trusty Vault 13 canteen. Howdy, partner! As a new courier who wants to learn the path of the road and survive, you're, you're gonna have to sometimes put yourself in situations that, that are more difficult, that other couriers won't be able to. Before living life in the fast lane, it's important to understand the position you're in here. You obviously are gonna need equipment and tools to make it around the map, but uh-oh. Anything carrying those items is probably gonna be off the road. Patience and a little bit of moral questionability are gonna get you started. Also, I forgot to hit record here, so my dumb face and chat will be with us for a short bit. Come on, Easy Pete, I just wanna chat. Can you come into my little zone? Oh, shit, no, <laughs> Easy Pete, no, no, I, ah, stop it. No, he's too far away. I gotta get him closer to the road. Come back over to the road. Come, come back. Damn it. How do I how do I manage to just blow it? Dude, there's no way. This guy's in the matrix. There we go. We've got him in our sights. He's on the road. Target locked. All right, what does he got on him? A magnum. He's got some ammo, some caps, clothes, explosives. I think this is the fastest I've ever done one of these challenges and found clothes. Usually I'm naked for a while. <laughs> Now these big horners, technically they have meat on them, and if meat, yes, we've invested in our survival skill. Wait, no, 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 I, it wasn't supposed to be that effective. <laughs> you were just supposed to be angry at me. Oh, damn it, you guys are supposed to attack me. Stop dying, you're not supposed to die immediately. <sighs> They're coming. All right, he's, he's closing in. Ow, ow, ow. I didn't mean to be that accurate. Stay right there, don't move. Got him. We're still technically on the road. This town is mine, good friends. No, 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 get back here. All right, I got an idea. This is really, really stupid. But I think if we throw the dynamite directly at the rock in front of us, we should be able to blast the field hand over here. I think it's worth wasting one dynamite. Good bounce, decent. 
After a few tries of cheesing the Good Springs ranch hands onto the road, you should have at least a few useful items on hand. A varmint rifle, a revolver, a couple of bullets, maybe a healing item or two. This combat style of jockeying your enemies back onto the road so they can be lootable is going to be constant throughout this entire run, but what won't always be there are opportunities for friendship. Oh look! A friend! Come on, buddy! Let's go for a journey! <laughs> Come! Just don't get out of hand, alright? Don't pick up too much speed now and leave me in the dust. All right, we've got two ways we can go about this. Hey, 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 come back. No, 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 don't run away from me. We were just getting started. I didn't, barely even got to know the guy and he's already abandoned me. All right, if they're just on the opposite side of those rocks, then a well-placed dynamite should be able to land somewhere. All right, there's one coming after us. Let's fall back. There he is, run. On the road? No, 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 he's off the road! Since we loaded our save, we got our tumbleweed friend back, and now he's never going to leave me. Now you go over there, find somewhere safe on the road, and I'll just... No, wait, no, no, you're supposed to find... Wait, somewhere safe on the road! You're going the wrong way! Why must he always leave me? Fine, I'll find an even better, sexier tumbleweed than you. Come on, push. That's right. Come on, push one more time. Now, it feels like the journey has started. Any lawman that comes after me won't have it easy. Hey! Wait a minute. This is a bed, and it's technically on the road! We can play on hardcore mode! Is that Victor? Victor, my friend! Come on, you're almost there. There you go, get that, oh, get excited. That's right, I've got a present for you, and it'll be delivered at high speed out of the end of this barrel. Please, step onto the platform. For God's sake, please step on, ah, oh God. There's gonna be too many mutated animals we run into on the road, or adjacent to the road, so we'll take Hunter. Not bad progress so far. Hey, where the hell do you think you're going? We're starting to make some good progress here, but I should probably clarify some more rules with this run. The road simply refers to highways, streets, things that, you know, cars can drive on. I had a lot of people suggesting railroads, but those aren't the same. Come on now, don't, don't lie to yourself. They're not roads, they are rails. Also, given the nature of the game, the roads obviously won't be continuous throughout. It's the apocalypse. There's going to be lots of breaks or buried sections of road. If you can reasonably fill in for where the road might be in a small connection break, that's okay. Significant breaks in the road that one could consider destroyed or totally exploded, those are off limits. Dirt paths as well are mostly off limits, but we're going to use the in-game map as a tiebreaker. If it appears on the in-game map as a road but looks like a dirt path, fair play to you. Once you journey past Prim and make it further along the highway to hell, you may feel a bit overconfident in your ability to coax enemies into the road for easy pickings, but as you progress towards the first significant safe zone, that being Novak, sometimes sitting back and letting danger take care of itself is your best course of action. Who are the, what are they? What's going on? Oh no. Oh god. Wait, no, this is a disaster. Everyone's dying off the road. Okay, now that's just unnecessary. Now we're gonna get demonetized. All right, all right. I think I can, yes. All right, we can grab this convict. Nice, nice. Stop, wait, hey, gentlemen, if you could please keep this altercation to the road, that would be fantastic. He is standing on the road right now. Let's go for the kill. Wow, that's a lot of health. 42%, I like those odds. Never mind. Whew. Hey there, need anything? All right, Kilborn, come back onto the road. Good job, good job. Quick, everyone, take cover. This madman is opening fire. Oh yeah, that one's really big. Ah! Come on down. You are our grand prize winner. Yeah! Who won the lottery? I did! Oh no, here we go, the cosplayers. The 4chan message board is here to greet me. I won't have you lashed to a cross like the rest of these degenerates. 
I'm sorry, that's cringe. You're trying way too hard. It's cringe. Go back to the subreddit that spawned you. They're gonna spawn in and start taking pot shots at me. Yeah, see, you can see one of them right there. What do we have, a 9% chance? I like those odds. No. I need to go to a casino right now. Everybody, I'm going to buy my lottery. Ah, there's another one. Come on, step forward. Got her. <gasps> You've come back to me. I knew it. I knew you would want to continue being my friend. Now let's go. Wait, you can do this, you can, okay, all right. Whew, you're just pranking me. I thought you were gonna leave me all alone out here. What the hell is going, hey, hey, I wanna be a part of this, this sounds fun. It'd be really nice if they could keep the violence to the road. We've got one dead body on the road. Fine, I'll get as involved as I can from up here. Two on the road, three including the NCR. Let's get this last one down right where he stands. They all lived, one, two, three, four dead bodies all on the road right by a trader. I've never observed the wildlife like this. Who knew that they would go underground slightly? Oh, they're launching the attack. Open fire. This is crazy. What is going on? I'm like a sideline reporter. I like that crew. Best of luck, everybody. I really hope I can sell you my... Okay, this crew is deadly. I'm just gonna let you guys do all the work for me. It would be nice if you could kill some of these gangsters in the road, but... Hey there, need anything? So we'll take purified water, just so we have it, dirty water. We'll take the steak. All right, whoever wins this fight is who I'm siding with. Uh-oh. It's not looking good for Team Merchant. Oh. oh. Still a pretty fair amount of loot out of that whole thing. I feel bad for the cows now. Ah, oh. Prospector. Well, that's a cool helmet. Maybe we can just predict where her path will end up. I hope you know what you're doing. You hope I know what I'm doing? Don't worry, ma'am. I'm a trained professional. Come on. How the hell is she gonna walk it off like it's nothing? All right, so you've made it to Novak in one piece, and by playing the part of conscientious objector slash repairman slash pack mule, you should have a small little nest egg of cash built up. Novak operates as a pretty good hub town for the rest of this journey, boasting a central location, a doctor that's reachable by the road, the only instance of a raider in this game that's actually just named Raider, and this guy. If anyone asks, we never spoke. If you need an XP boost, there's a crap ton of golden geckos nearby that you can take out. Jesus, man! Am I running out of room? Oh god, the way they run with their mouth wide open. Aw, oh, did that hurt? Aw, oh, did that... Was that painful? Ah, god. I hit level four at this point and boring, I know, but I took the educated perk for more skill points. You've got a few options of where to go next here, but I suggest heading east and meeting the worst border patrol crew ever. Hold up there. Afraid I can't let you through until the situation is resolved. These guys are the worst security ever. <laughs> this is That's how I would uh, work security when I worked at a nightclub. Whoa, hey, I wasn't expecting Legion already. All right, never mind. Okay, the checkpoint was worth it. Go get them, soldiers. Wait, do, do you not have a gun? <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, that's a legionary. Man down, man down. Charge up. Continuing down this road will lead you to an NCR trooper too scared to even help you save his friends. I can't thank you enough. I'll wait here and watch the road. Good luck in there. Good luck in there. I'll stay out here and do the real work of watching the road. Get the f out of here. So take him and the Legion soldiers nearby as donations to your stash. Just north is Nelson and the one occurrence we noticed of a dirt path successfully winning the tiebreaker I mentioned earlier. Congratulations to this small stretch of official road. Pretty solid loot overall, and while I do wish I invested more into barter or repair, I can't complain with net positive results. North of Novak takes you back to the standard highway that's followed in almost every New Vegas playthrough, and while I'd love a more diplomatic solution to some of these problems gonna run away. Okay, he's gotta get to the road. We gotta hit the shot. Why would he lay down perfectly in the middle of the road? Oh no, boss. It's the masked bandit. <laughs> Some bandit you are. <laughs> 
You can't pass up on the coolest weapon in video game history along your way up north to Pit Stop 188. And yes, cheesy dialogue is a requirement of wielding and holstering this bad boy on all occasions. That's how I like my dog meat. Fried. Just kidding. Animal cruelty isn't cool. It's in the official game guide. It just makes it more powerful. I can't explain it. No offense, but you look like you've traveled a long way down some bad roads. Where'd you come from? This is about 15 minutes in the future. If we back things up a bit, you'll see that Veronica, a recruitable companion, is just far enough off the road that we can't technically speak with her unless we find a way to displace her and bring her onto the road. All right, Veronica, are you on the road? No. No, Veronica. I know, I know what'll get her attention. Huh? Huh? Veronica, I'm cool. Guess you don't want to be with a nice gamer like me. Since being a nice gamer boy won't get her attention, the next best strategy is to playfully lodge a 10 millimeter round into her shin. Now my Twitch chat advised me that she should have gone neutral after I holstered, but as you can see, that's clearly not the case. Please, wait, no, I promise. <laughs> I'm a nice guy. Why, wait, why is the arms merchant shooting Veronica now? <laughs> this isn't how it was supposed to go. Oh, f all right, Veronica, please, we can talk about this. Ver Veronica. All right, maybe we did too much damage. Let's try again. Over here. Maybe we can just turn this into a Nurbit video. <laughs> now Veronica's just gonna be chasing me the whole game. Unless... Okay, Veronica's running that way. And if I put my weapon away, they're still gonna be hostile. So by shooting the pack ramen and putting the merchant hostile, Veronica's running over the hill. Let's go to the other side of the highway, loop back around, kill the traveling merchant, and then catch Veronica as she's running back to camp. This could actually work. Okay, they're walking back. But those don't look like... That looks like a regular trader. Veronica spotted. She's on her way back. Let's bring her home, boys. <sighs> Veronica, 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 senpai. Oh my God, there's way more of them than I thought. Okay, okay, all right, all right, hey, 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 you're doing all the work. The fuck are you doing? My brother died at the Battle of Hoover Dam. That's right, that's what being a roadie is all about. All right, gentlemen, excuse me. Let a professional handle this. I'm going in. Really? They're gonna shoot at me right away? All right, I wasn't expecting that. Veronica, take cover. An important part of being on the road, Veronica, is um, knowing when to pick your battles. Veronica, please learn how to... Veronica? God damn it, Veronica! Rest in peace, Mustang Sally. Maybe if you weren't more overpowered than me, the main character, I would have kept you around. The road north of here sees the easy path to New Vegas cut off, or at least we ruled it out of bounds, meaning in order to get up to this cluster f where the streets have no name, you'll have to sneak past the marching death lizards. Everybody, this is called the uh, sneak moonwalk. It's the most effective strategy of escaping death claws. Warning, the following area has a difficulty spike that can be incredibly annoying. God, I f***ing hate this gun so much. Typically at this point in a New Vegas playthrough, along the way up here, you've completed these funny little things called quests. While out here on the road, the only quest is scrounging up whatever you can from things that you've made sure died in lootable positions. You'll be left probably just a theory of mine, just a little bit underpowered by the time you get up here. Oh, you gotta be f It crippled everything? Everything is crippled, really? Man, this really is not an effective tactic of getting away from me. You like this Whoa, side? hey! Blood? Oh my gosh, I got crippled again. <laughs> no. It's a game of chicken. If you want to avoid being this guy who gets frustrated by the mechanics of his own challenge, allow me to offer you an array of New Vegas wildlife you can take your frustrations out on. This will put money in your pockets and continue evolving your courier to be an even more powerful road-touching 
thing. Powder gangers are a native beast in this land, and you can harvest them here, here, and here. I'm not really sure what conditions are good for powder ganger crop yield, but the soil here must be rich because a new crop shows up every couple of days in game. Looking east, you've got the area south of Novak, which is usually pretty ripe with encounters. Oh Jesus, guys, not now. This is too much. I'm talking about Veronica. Come on, we're reminiscing. Don't do this. Hey, I'm a little bit more badass than I gave myself credit for. Whoa. Oh, come on. It's my highway. You want to rock and roll? Let's do it. I'll play the drums, you play lead singer. Boom. Wait, wait, whoa, wait, hold on, roll that back. Get out of here, how am I gonna lose twice in a row? I feel like LA in the 80s right now, I just can't stop the Night Stalker. There's like way too many bison down here as well. I mean, my XP bar is absolutely popping off, so that's cool, but the bison, I feel bad for them. They've even got my personal favorite spot in New Vegas, Fallout 3 World. Oh god! Oh my god! <laughs> Those guys don't respawn, but I couldn't think of a way to write it in here. Pretty good spot between the Statue of Liberty and Nipton. Oh my god, they're hungry. These people are hungrier than I am thirsty. Back! Back, I say! They look so pissed. Are you twins? You guys are twins, that's adorable. Absolutely nothing but sadness this way. Hold up, there are death claws all over the damn place north of here. Ah, uh, crap. Oh no, come on. Oh, chomps, please help. We can gang up on them together. Oh, oh no, oh no, oh no, chomps! Snuffles! No! Snuffles. Wait, hang on, no, 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 no. Oh, he looks like he was about to say something to me. Or maybe that was him screaming in pain. Oh, 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 oh I'm sorry, Snuffles. Wait, I didn't mean to. Coyotes, they even got coyotes spawning out here if you're feeling it. Look how excited she is. Can I really shoot that face? I mean, that is an adorable. Oh, damn. oh no, 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 that one's even cuter. Why? No. Stop it, if you send another dog that just gets progressively cuter than the last, I can't keep playing this. Goosebumps villains up here, the golden gecko's right here, ghouls respawn here, hardcore mode. It hasn't really been a factor at all, so much so I've barely mentioned it. Other than doctor bags being needed as I picked out tougher fights like the fiends or that legion camp down south, let me just mark it off real quick so I can get the credit for it, hardcore mode hasn't really been a player in this run. However, by fast traveling around the map to try and speed up the process of Rhodey's wealth and experience, I found myself in a situation where I was very dehydrated, my vendors were out of water, and any further fast travel risked jeopardizing the past few hours, running as literally as possible on empty. But don't you worry yourself over there. If this happens to you, I've got a really simple solution for you. There's purified water on that shelf. I know what we have to do to survive. This might be really stupid or absolutely genius, but with a crippled arm, it's gonna be a hard shot to hit. Oh my lord! Oh my goodness, we got one! Holy crap, it worked! Water, 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 water. Where is it? Where did it go? Where'd the water go, bastards? Come on, one shot to save the world. You got this, pal. Whoa, whoa, careful. I'm thirsty, don't tell me what to do. Come on, that one's gotta be it. Ah, oh, it's right there. All right, new plan. This is gonna sound really stupid. Yeah, take cover. That's a good toss. Oh, no! No, I, I had it! It was a perfect throw! Got it! I got it! I got it! I got it! We got the water! It worked! Oh my god, we got it! Yes! Oh, I'm gonna drink the shit out of this water! Alternatively to this foolproof strategy, just make sure to always buy water when it's available at the various vendors you'll run across. This ain't rocket science, but I do feel obligated to note that, as I think at least one person who watches this will give this dumb challenge a try. Now, you may be sitting there saying, but wait, what about the Strip, the NCR base, the Legion base, the Fiends, all these combat encounters that are sure to challenge you? We hit all of these places, but right around the time I started focusing on the grind of making this character a nearly untouchable, cap-rich psychopath, 
Something was lost on me a bit. I wasn't chasing down dumb objectives like catch the exploding water bottle or retain friendship with an inanimate object. I stopped enjoying the journey for what it was and it became all about min-maxing and death dealing my way through the map so I could afford a really snazzy sniper rifle. Like a long road trip with friends, things started off blissful, full of excitement about the possibilities of the wild things that might happen. I guess the parallel that I'm trying to draw here is that, yeah, a challenge about running along the road and only staying on the road. It's a lot like driving on the road. Highway hypnosis kicked in at a certain point and before I knew it, I had plenty of cash to get myself that snazzy new sniper rifle. The moral of the story here is that if the monotony of your road trip starts to get the better of you, spice things up with a high powered 50 caliber explosive sniper rifle. I think no chance means that I have the best chance. See? Run, run little buddy. I'm gonna save him. Oh no, I shot the cat. I didn't, I didn't mean to shoot the big horner. No, I'm not killing it. No, I'm, I'm not killing him. He's so adorable. How can I harm him? Look at, look at the little, oh, ow, hey. They just get a little bit excited. Come on. Oh, look at that little excited hops. <laughs> They've got the zoomies. No, 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 don't leave me. Ow, f dick. Mm. All right, you're lucky I love you. Oh, okay, we can finally save one. I can be the hero for once. We did it! We saved him! Welcome to Jacobstown, human. Armor piercing? Ex explosive? Ah! Uh, misfortune! This is a dangerous place, human. Especially for your kind. Is he gonna help me? He's gonna help me! Screw their loot! I'm keeping him alive! Goodbye. Just got here after watching the new video. So, so good. Loved every minute or time excited to see Fallout 76 content as I've not seen anything on it yet. I saw all the hate when it was released and was like I guess I'm not playing that. Wait, if I take off this disguise, are they all gonna attack me right away? Or are they too enamored with these incredible dance moves? Who are you waving? <laughs> Oh yeah! Woo! Shit! Shh. Woo! I forgot I had explosive rounds in here too. Oh, what? There's no way. That. Don't. Oh wait, hold on. What is? Danger. Ah! What the heck? We're under fire! Oh god, it's raining explosives! Uh, don't, don't worry, I know what to do. Huh. Didn't realize that the weather called for... Raining death. Oh, come on, give me that one. Come on, that one was awesome! Well, well, well. If it isn't all easy, Pete. I'm really sorry it had to start this way, Pete. Does anybody in this town want to move the dead body? Holy shit, this one's running up the middle like a running back. Oh my, it didn't even stand a chance. They just... Oh my gosh. Okay, I feel bad for shooting that one. Oh my god, now it's just a massacre. We're just sending them flying. When I was a kid, we used to always go up to a real, real small place up in Minnesota. We would. Really, dude? I'm telling the vacation story and you interrupted me. Die, spawn of Satan. Timing, efficiency, accuracy. That one's got grenades. Wait, they both have grenades. Why does everybody have grenades? Oh, 95% chance. Of course. Boom! I don't need odds. Oh, is your gun broke? Is your gun broke? So's your health bar. All right, I know that one was weak. <laughs> that one was bad. If it's bad, I'll say it's bad. But when it's good, I will acknowledge that it's great. I'm up there. I mean, it's, it's too easy. It's like I have aimbot. I gotta make sure to get this one, though. This is gonna be a tough shot. I think if we hit this rock right here, we should be able to get him. Look at him go, look at him soar! Did 
Can we get them both in one shot? Just two powder gangers living in one ranch. It's an action comedy for the whole family. Oh my God, it's Keemstar. There we go. Look at these morons. Now look at this one with this weird helmet. I had to go for it. I had to go for it. It was so worth it. All four in one. This shouldn't be too bad. Maybe they'll just ignore me. Maybe they respect my ability to just run along the road. And they go, you know what? This is a really strong fella. And honestly, we should just respect the fact that he's come in peace and will so calmly walk down the road and will just journey to go, ow. I don't think Rhodey's gonna have children after that one.